Hi there, this is uh, Jacques from Makulu Linux. Today I'm going to be showing off uh, Makulu Linux 4.0 XFCE. So this is the new XFCE. I'm going to show what's changed from 3.0 to 4.0. Firstly, it's running on kernel 3.10. At the moment, I think it's 3. Um, kernel updates are coming through regularly, so that could change. It's also running on version uh, XFCE version 4.10 to not 1.6.3. Um, on a personal note, I've uh, spent quite a lot of time on eye candy this time around. The OS runs very stable, speed-wise, sound. Um, so the first things you'll notice is the new backgrounds. Um, I've added quite a nice little selection of new backgrounds. Um, I'll run through one or two of, a, of them over here. Uh, just a couple of some old ones as well included. This is a favorite of mine. Um, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of backgrounds here. Some really nice ones as well. Um, as you can see, obviously, uh, there's the jungle with the hippo swimming at the bottom. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna, there we go leave it there for now so there's quite a few new backgrounds um, the next thing you'll probably notice is the uh, transparency um, I added quite a bit of transparency to the XFCE version the bottom panel is transparent I know it looks like it's not there it is there it's just transparent um, the menus are transparent all the menus or oh, semi-transparent sorry um, as you can see semi-transparent menus very awesome um, the pop-up notifications are trans semi-transparent as well as you can see over there if I change the volume the little notification on top is semi-transparent so that's very awesome too um, the info the little info pop-ups are also semi-transparent so that's that's pretty cool as well as any minimized uh, window shows up sort of semi-transparent in the uh, bottom panel so there's a lot of uh, oh wait wait I'm not done the terminal is also um, semi-transparent as well as any window that you drag is also transparent so yeah a lot of transparency all around it just uh, kind of um, adds to the eye candy um, the next thing you'll probably notice is the desktop icons they are pretty nifty and that is uh, uh, these new sphere icon set you know it's it's very glossy very nice very awesome looking they're probably more visible when they're bigger you can actually see it's extremely extremely nice uh, pleasing to the eyes um, icon set which is very awesome you'll also notice that uh, we use a new theme so that's uh, very nice a sort of a graphite for red purplish kind of theme that's pretty awesome um, so all around the eye candy has been improved quite a lot I've uh, opted to stick with the traditional uh, menu I know there's whisker menu and there's quite a few out now but I still prefer the uh, traditional one I'm th I guess I'm just used to it um, I've also stuck to the tr traditional layout with the uh, notification icons and stuff in your task uh, taskbar icons on the right the um, favorites icons on the left with the menu button next door obviously um, clock on the far right uh, the favorite icons obviously are your file browser your web browser your terminal and your software center which are probably the four most used icons in any desktop environment basically um, as I said Tunar is version 1.6.3 as you can see there Tunar 1.6.3 um, the themes also carried into Tunar Tunar has a couple of custom actions implemented I haven't I know there's a ton of custom actions and you the users are welcome to add them all I didn't want to I you know I, I'm not a big fan of this massive massive uh, context menu bar that goes out the screen that you have to scroll just to get past all the, the, the custom actions 
so I basically just added the, the, the few basic ones that you know you'll use on a regular basis if you want to add more actions uh, you know there's a ton of sites that, that, that it's so easy to find them and add them it's no big deal you know so yeah um, videos also show little previews that's nice I know not all the Linux versions have that little videos show little previews um, as well as pictures pictures I can show little previews as well so that's pretty awesome um, pre-installed I just want to run through the software quickly the most noticeable pre-installed item is for me is probably the device driver manager which I think by far is um, tops the list for me and that is mostly because um, for me drivers on Debian has always been a pain in the butt you know on other on, on Ubuntu and Mint uh, it's so easy to install a driver but on Debian every second guy has issues every third guy has issues and new guys oh my god it's a, it's a nightmare you know to get anything installed can um, certainly um, steer anybody away from Debian and uh, with this device driver manager actually made by solid DXK I think and mint and I don't know who else who all was involved but this little driver manager works like a charm as you can see it's picked up my Intel um, core process integrated graphics controller which is the HD 3000 I think and it's even given me alternative drivers that I can activate wireless it's picked up my Broadcom wireless card um, it's given me alternative drivers I can install as well it even notifies me that my kernel version is up to date da 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 my system is PAE capable so yeah driver manager definitely top of the list and it's fully functional in Makulu Linux 4.0 that is awesome I'd say that is a massive advantage um, for this OS Gparted of course is included um, the main menu works out of the box I know a lot of uh, Debian versions of uh, well, a lot of Debian li Linux versions have issues with uh, XFCE menus. People are having to download XFCE menu editor, a la carte, uh, you name it. A lot of guys have issues with uh, main menu. This works out of the box. You can pretty much change icons, edit anything. It, it's live in seconds. So yeah, that's that's another nice thing that I spend time getting to work. Um, the other massive uh, update here is probably okay well Synaptic package managers installed it was in version 3 as well the software center is installed and it's the software center with the mint looking skin um, there we go so yeah icons are carried the, this icon systems carried into the software manager which is pretty snazzy as well it's really nice look um, I think the other massive thing here is okay. It's not there because there's a screensaver, obviously. Um, settings editor, no, no, no. Um, accessories. Here we go. USB stick formatter. That's a very handy little tool as well. USB image writer, very handy as well. Task manager, do not okay. Screenshot. Uh, Leafpad is the default text editor. Conky manager is also pretty awesome. You can pretty much. Uh, enable dual uh, uh, dual or multi conkeys at the same time there you see I put a clock on the front and then uh, let's go put something else over here um, let's find some tiles there we go there's tiles so yeah you can put multiple conkeys on at the same time and you can set them to boot up with a PC under options run conkey at system startup so that's pretty awesome. Um, I myself don't really prefer Conky. I um, sometimes put it on, but most of the time I have it off. Um, I think I'm just one of those guys that just likes to save every little piece of memory I can. But it, nonetheless, it is there. Users can go crazy. Put on 20 Conkeys if you want. It's up to you. Um, the the f uh, the features there for you to use. Games Steam is pre-installed in Makulu Linux. And I spent quite a bit of time getting Steam to work. You know, um, especially on the Debian version, um, Steam has issues disconnecting, updating, you, you name it, uh, it's got issues. Mostly DNS issues. Um, so yeah, I've, I've gone and searched online all over from top to bottom, found all the problems 
that come with with uh, steam and I've applied the fixes into the OS itself so um, so yeah steam is fully functional as you can see uh, my net connection is a bit slow and um, I do have other stuff running in the background but nonetheless steam is fully functional uh, you can now just update login play simple as that very easy very awesome um, and straight on Debian well on Makulu Linux 4.0 based on Debian though Pinta is the um, drawing program or the graphics program of choice uh, it's a lot like Microsoft Paint except uh, it's very lightweight except it's got a lot more features you know it's got effects and layers and stuff that you can add so very awesome very kudos to that um, we've got the Ludge installed as the default torrent manager Dropbox is obviously there to sync with your online Dropbox uh, space um, Flaregate is installed that's the default uh, internet download manager it's a multi-threaded download manager currently I think probably the best download manager in, in the Linux environment and it's fully integrated with uh, Opera Next which is the browser of choice on, on this um, OS I will get to Opera in a second InSync is the Google Drive syncing utility it's very awesome and it's so easy to use and it's very automated and it syncs with your Google Drive I will actually open it up and, and just um, sort of just give you a, a short little my internet's just a little slow there we go in sync popping up it's going to ask me to log in see I think this bar loads first ok there we go it's going to ask me to log in so I'll sign in 10% loaded, 36, 39, 46, there, this app would like to blah 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 blah, except, it's such an amazing little sync utility, um, close to you, okay, while that's loading, um, so yeah, uh, Thunderbird is the default mail client. NitroShare basically replaces Samba for sharing. It's very awesome. Pigeon is the default internet messenger. Um, and Skype is preloaded. Multimedia, we've got, um, of course, your default audio mixer. We've got your multi-converter, which converts uh, multiple files. I think I can actually close this. Uh, no, no. She did it. I think my net is just crashing a bit there. So yeah, um, uh, multi converter is is pretty awesome for converting to multiple formats. Nero Linux, the trial version is installed. You can try it out if you want, like it, buy it. It's probably the best um, DVD writing program. Well, in my in my opinion, radio trays for streaming. Obviously, um, internet radio via the internet. Sound recorders on the totem players on the VLC media players on the Focus screen is what I'm using currently to make this video and of course XF Burn is on there for people that don't like Nero. The full LibreOffice suite is installed including Adobe Reader 9 as well. And the system Wine is pre-installed. You can just run your Windows programs um, straight out of the box. Um, Decon F Edit is installed. Obviously that's very useful. The GDB package installer is used for is the default uh, package installer and of course there is a nice update manager included as well I think let me just can I exit here close sorry man I've got a very slow connection here and this okay, let's just minimize that for now so yeah I want to move on to Opera Opera next now because I need to just explain uh, pretty much what's what's happened here what's changed what's been updated so now we're using the opera next uh, we're using the opera next uh, instead of opera we're using opera next instead of opera which is obviously the next version of opera 
Um, a lot of customizations. I've uh, pretty much made it look like Opera. There were small changes in Opera Next, you know. I, I like the look of Opera, so I've had to edit a little bit to get that exact look back. You know, if I open up a web page, that it shows the, 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 the info at the bottom, not the top. Um, the skin, you know, to get the skin to look exactly the same and uh, so forth. Minor stuff though. Um, I've included ad block um, for blocking ads which is useful exchange for um, showing your your local currency you can always edit edit that in extensions to your own currency to show your own currency in places like eBay and better buy or wherever I've also um, included some YouTube tools which are always useful and then the four magic buttons on top here those are probably the most worthy of uh, anybody's attention is because um, they are pop-ups to uh, mail your Gmail, your Twitter, your Google Plus, and your Facebook accounts. If you click on any of them, it will actually pop up. Like if I click on Facebook button, it it will actually pop up. It will actually pop up Facebook in a little in a little box. And now I can browse my Facebook, reply, check my notifications, you know, um, message friends, chat, whatever else. The same with Google Plus. It also pops up in a little box and I can now so I'm in this I don't know what's up with this net tonight South Africa it's just one of those things so yeah I can uh, I can pretty much uh, manage my whole account here read the latest articles uh, see who's posted what what's the latest news on Linux um, and so forth Twitter same thing pops up a little box shows a little mini web page um, right on top of the page I'm browsing and I can go through the latest tweets and add my own tweet um, yeah pretty much very awesome gmail of course um, well I don't think I've actually logged into gmail yet uh, let's give it a second there we go there it loads gmail now now I can browse uh, my gmail right here in this little in this little uh, pop-up window I can actually click on a mail and actually open up open it up into a page as you can see there I've done that sorry I clicked once too many anyway it will actually open up that email and I can read the email online if I want to so these four are extremely handy you don't even have to open a page to go into Facebook Google Plus Twitter or Gmail very awesome so yeah that's uh, McGlue Linux in a nutshell let's see if this this thing's refreshed yet. Uh, I think it's actually stuck now. Sorry, man, the, the net is very slow yet tonight. I've already messaged them earlier about it. I've got no reply, so I'm assuming it will be fixed tomorrow. So, yeah, um, because I know that does use quite a lot of um, net, where, especially when the first time when it sinks and starts up. Anyway, not to bother. Um, so, yeah, Makulu Linux 4.0 in a nutshell. Still a couple of kinks to sort out, still a few bugs to fix. But for now, it's running very nicely. It's looking very sleek. Um, my minimal issues. I mean, I know I'm having issues with Google Sync now at the moment, but uh, it has, it was working perfectly fine early, and I'm pretty sure that's just an internet issue. Um, but I'll have a look at it either way, anyway. Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, Makulu Linux 4.0 XFCE edition. Uh, the beta should be coming out soon I'm hopefully by the end of the month and uh, I'm looking forward to this release uh, more so than most I think it's been a lot of hard work as you can see this was not easy I spent many 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 sleepless nights uh, working on this oh here's the little update manager in progress 19 megs of updates so so yeah Makulu Linux 4.0 XFCE edition I think this is going to be uh, a whole new high for us and I'm looking forward to sharing it with the world so see you guys soon